let's take another example let's divide this 5y to the power 3 plus 3y square plus 6y by 2y same thing first write it down like this right numerator divided by denominator second step put the denominator in each of these numerators to break this full three term expression into single terms so it will become 5y cube by 2y same 2y goes below this 3y square plus by 2y and 6y by 2y and now you can easily cut things right this y will get cut from this only there were three y's here y into y into y one of them get cut so you are left with 5y square 5 by 2 you cannot cut anything same thing for 3 by 2 y square by y so y into y divided by y one of the y gets cut only one y is left and same thing here 6 divided by 2 3 is left and y and y get cancelled so the final answer is 5 by 2 y square plus 3 by 2 y plus 3 right very simple step break this algebraic expression into sum of three separate terms where each term is a simple monomial right and then you can cut let's take another example this time take an algebraic expression like 7a square plus 14a and divide it by a polynomial not by a monomial so this is also having multiple terms and this is also having multiple terms here there are two terms one term is 7a square and another is 14a and here also there are two terms a and 2 let's see how do we do this thing so 7a square plus 14a divided by a plus 2 right you can write it as 7 into a into a plus 14 com prime factors are 2 into 7 into a divided by a plus 2 right try to find out what is common here to simplify it you will find 7 and a are common between these two terms so you can take it outside and then what you are left is a plus 2 right so this is your standard distributive law so a into b plus a into c is equal to a into b plus c so a in this case is 7a and b is a and c is 2 right so this becomes 7 into a multiplied by a plus 2 and denominator remains same as a plus 2 next step you can easily cut this a plus 2 with this a plus 2 because they are same and what you are left is 7a right so the answer of this division operation on this algebraic expression divided by this algebraic expression is 7a let's take one more example a little bigger one divide 12 a b into bracket 9 a square minus 16 b square bracket by 4 a b bracket 3 a plus 4 b bracket close right so divide this expression by this expression so first write numerator followed by denominator right now you can easily see some things can cut directly and it see you cannot cut anything within the bracket which is having plus or minus sign you cannot cut 9a square by 3a right but this is the the, the product of the factors to 12ab into 9a square minus 16b so this factor alone can something can get cut here because a and b are common and 12 can be divided by 4 so we can cut this and finally we'll get between these two we'll get 3 right so 12 ab divided by 4 ab ab gets cut 12 divided by 4 becomes 3 so this is simple now try to use the different identity law we learnt in our earlier lesson to factorize this algebraic expression so 9 a square minus 16 b square 9 is also a perfect square and 16 is also a perfect square so seems like this can go into identity 3 right x square minus y square is equal to x minus y into x plus y right so we can write 9a square as 3a whole square 3 into 3 is 9 a into a is a square remember putting the brackets 3a whole square is 9a square same thing also for 16b square is 4 square is 16 so 4b whole bracket 2 is equal to 16b square 4 square is 16 
b squared is b squared and you leave the denominator as is because you cannot break it down further next step we know it is in form of x square minus y square will be equal to x plus a x plus y into x minus y remember our factorization video using the identity 3 this can be broken down into product of two factors 3a plus 4b into 3a minus 4b x is same as 3a and 4b is y right so it is x plus y into x minus y divided by 3a plus 4b now you can see this entire thing can get cancelled with the denominator right and what you are left is 3 into 3a minus 4b right which you can further simplify using the distributive law a into b minus c is a into b minus a into c so it becomes 3 into 3a will become 9a 3 into 4b will become 12b and don't forget the minus sign so minus so final answer is 9a minus 12b so you can use factorization to make it very simple and then you can easily cut numerators and denominators and whatever is left you try to simplify it so that's all in this lesson children bye bye